Hey guys, thanks for joining us here at Cooking with Shotgun Red. And today's recipe has become our new favorite recipe. That's right. If you like layers of pasta and cheese, then you are going to love this casserole. Yes, you will. It's super easy to make and it's so delicious. I'm telling you, when you take this out of the oven, everybody's going to want to dig in. It just bubbles, don't it? Oh, oh yeah. Hot. So mm. good. Ooh. Wait till you try it. We're going to take you back and we're going to show you how. Okay, so we've got a stock pot here, about three quarters of the way full of water. Yes, and about a teaspoon of salt. Get that boiling so we can add some pasta. And we just picked up this berea, and I'm gonna crack it in half here. Now, I like to crack it in half because I don't like big, long, stringy spaghetti. I don't spaghetti. either. <laughs> you know? I like to eat it every once in a while instead of stirring around, 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 trying to get it on the fork. Exactly, so we'll let that boil. And we've got one pound of lean ground beef, 80-20 and a half a pound of some ground up Italian sausage. Now, if you don't have Italian sausage, that's okay. You could just use ground beef. So we're just gonna cover this and let it brown up. So now that that's browned up, we're just gonna season that meat up. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And, Smells good already. Mm -hmm. And we got one large jar of pasta sauce. And you know, you can use any pasta sauce you want. This is just their tomato basil. You know, I usually use Rayos, but sometimes when things are on sale, I just buy whatever. And this is a pretty good one. So we're going to use this. Get it all in there. Stir that up really good. You're going to keep the grease in there, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to keep that oil and fat in there because I, I want all that flavor in that pasta. Mm -hmm. So we're going to turn off the heat. And we're going to just slide this back. And then we're gonna head on over to do the mixture. That's right. So we've got some softened cream cheese. Eight ounce. And already got that softened up. And then. Then one cup cottage cheese. And I'm gonna use about, oh, you just said that a cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did just say one cup, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, Jen's awake this morning. <laughs> oh yeah, one cup, that's one cup, cup, cup. And yeah. some sour cream. Yeah, fourth cup. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix all that together the best you can so it's completely combined. Then we pre-greased our baking dish. Tablespoon of olive oil. And then we take in just a little bit of our meat mixture and we're just gonna layer a couple scoops across the bottom because I like a little sauce on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Then we have our pasta that we added some olive oil to because we don't want sticky pasta, do we? No, we don't. I hate sticky pasta, because it all comes out at one time. I know, one big clump. <laughs> I can't stand that. So we added about a tablespoon yeah. of olive oil in there so it doesn't get sticky. So we're putting half of that, and we cooked that al dente, so. It's layered up really good. Because it's gonna go in the oven and cook some more. So half that pasta in there. Then the cream cheese mixture in there. And this is, you know, it's, it's sticky, but just kind of scoop it in the best you can to yep. get it as even as you can. Yeah. Get it out there, girl. I am. You're making a mess in there. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, it's a it's messy thing, but you know. Yeah, anything, messy's good. Anything that's messy tastes better. Oh, you yeah. know it does. Don't so. And then we're going to add the rest of it. Some more pasta. The other half. Get that layered in there. See, it won't matter if that's messy. No. And then. Let's cover it up. And here comes the meat, all the good stuff. Our meat mixture back in. We'll just lay that all in there on the top evenly. And like I said, I didn't get rid of all that oil from the meat. I want, you know, all you the, want to drip the down grease from the it. meat. Yeah, the grease from the meat. Um, because, yeah, I want all that to sink into that there pasta. Yeah. Dump yeah. it all in there. Let's get on with this. That's right. <laughs> I know you're thinking like I should have done that first, huh? Right. <laughs> like <laughs> Just I would, dump it in. <laughs> like I would have. Oh, oh, the mozzarella cheese. I love mozzarella cheese. Or any kind of cheese would be all right with this. Oh, yeah. A lot of people use cheddar, um, Tex-Mex, you know, Mexican blend or whatever. Um, but I'm just using the mozzarella because I want to keep it kind of the Italian flavor. But you can use any kind of cheese you want. But I like how it melts, mozzarella cheese, so... 
All right, so our oven is preheated. To 350 degrees. And we're gonna put that in there for about 30 minutes uncovered and let that bake, and then we're gonna check it. Ooh, look at that. It's been in there 30 minutes. And now we're gonna add the remaining cheese. So the rest of the mozzarella, like I said, you could still get that piece off there. That You're piece, not gonna get that, that piece? I know that piece doesn't wanna come off there, does it now? No, I'll just leave it there. You're gonna burn your fingers if you don't watch it. And some grated Parmesan. Ooh, it's good. Hey, the sky's a little, however, however much cheese you guys want, you can put it in there. We're gonna let that bake for another 15 minutes. Now look at this. Oh yeah, mm -mm, mm -mm. that looks so good. So now we'll just take that out and dish some of this yummy stuff up. And you do know that I get the first dish. I know. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> I get the first bowl. <laughs> she comes to my house, she gets the first bowl. That's right. She's claiming in the corner. She likes the corner. Look at all of that. Doesn't that look good? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. I even like all the little crispy on the edge of the yes, cheese there the and, the, and then all the cream cheese stuff in the middle. And oh my gosh, it's so good. Wait till you taste the flavor in this, guys. And our toast. Yep, I made some garlic bread while that was baking the last 15 there. And hey, we're Let's ready to go. I'm Let's ready eat. to eat. Let's go. Doesn't this look delicious? Awesome. Oh my gosh. Love yeah. spaghetti. Ooh, I love this. We're going to try this out. Oh yeah. Look at all those flavors in there. Mm. Ready? I am. Look at here. Get some chunks uh, of meat. Look at this. Try not to pick a big giant bite, but there's, it's kind of hard not to, huh? Oh, I know it. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mm, mm. That is so good. Oh, you're going to love the flavors of all the cheese, that cream cheese, and that sour cream, and the... Oh, the, all the, the good pot. stuff. Oh, yeah. And it's so easy. I'm telling you, wait till you pick this out of the oven. Here, look at this and go, I'm digging in that. Because it is so good. And so. people asked us, like on the street or wherever we're at, they asked us, you got any easy recipes? Well, this is... Here you go. <laughs> here you go. There's a good one. It is so good. As Steve would say, is this the best million-dollar spaghetti casserole you've ever tried? If, if it, it ain't, ain't, it, it ought to be. be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. All right, let's eat some more. Some more Mom, you got to try this. Oh, so good. Mmm. Mm. Well, that's she, she and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, and then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.